came down to Tulsa yesterday. We're going to spend Thanksgiving holiday with my uh, daughter Lindsay mm -hmm. and my son-in-law Eric and the three kids uh, Thanksgiving holiday here. And today we're going to feature the Route 66 village here in Tulsa. Uh, Route 66 started in 1926 and ran from Chicago to Santa Monica, mm -hmm. California. And uh, we're just going to shoot around here a little bit, try to get some still images and uh, come along for the ride. So let's check it out. My name is Darla. With the Route 66 Village. Historic Village. Historic Village, right up there at the uh -huh. Our display here, our train, the 4500 up front, used to run in Oklahoma City. And that was years ago. Back in the 80s, uh, that train sit out by Mohawk Park at the Tulsa Zoo. And a group of um, train enthusiasts, Mike, he's one of our members, he, they got together, they got the train, they moved it a couple times. They restored it. It took them several years. And that's a steam train? Yes. Steam engine. The train car behind it came from Sepulpa, uh, the city of Tulsa, Vision 2025 money. You may know about that. Helped us build this building. Very nice. Um, and so Tulsa taxpayers helped with this. Improving the photability of the uh, of the scene here, so I'm cheating. But I like the sign on the wall. I like the orange. I like the pump. I like the four corners of the tight space of the wall. We got the making of a photo here. This pulls back. light coming through the window here, putting the, the light in the background there of the wall. Let me get a shot of this building here. I want these to, uh... Now she had a picture in there of four pumps here. Now I only see two, so I don't know why the difference. But... I'm shooting wide angle here. I'm trying to get the tall tower, so I'm shooting vertical. Uh, and the pumps and the all in one on shot here. So you gotta get low for these things. Let's get the uh, the shield here. I'd be curious to know where the, what the origin of the shield was for the state root signs here. So you have a shield of, uh, that's uh, national now. I'd be curious to know where that started. Okay, let's go over check this train out. the front. This is a big engine. Oh, they got the lights on it for Christmas. Uh, Ivy. <laughs> this my is granddaughter Ivy, who is three years old. Say Can you hi. Say hi? Say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> this is my grandson, Luke, standing next to my wife, Nancy. That's Easton. Easton, I'm sorry. Do it Get again. Get my grandchildren mixed up here. Do it again. Just do it again. This is my grandson, Easton, with my wife, Nancy, standing here.
Okay, so when you get to a place like this, what's the first thing you look for when you're looking for a photo moment? I go off of triggers, uh, photographing triggers that stimulate me to, to, look, to, to see images. Repetitive lines is a biggie, texture, color, uh, repetitive, like we got the big train wheels here. There's four of them, boom, boom, boom. There's a photograph in there. I, the, the, the repetitious of the, the graphic elements of the circles tells me there's a photo there. Now here we're, we're a little bit challenged. Let me turn the camera here. Uh, we're, we're photographically challenged because they got Christmas lights hanging on the wheels. That doesn't lend itself well to the originality of this Im image, but check this out. Uh, visual images that tell me there's a photograph here. Now let's see if we can find it. Sometimes we're more successful than others, so. But the, the repetitive elements of the four wheels tells me there's a photo here. Uh, we just have to find it. Okay, what about the sun? People always want to know, where should the sun be in relation to your photo? I don't really pay it much attention. I look for the photo, see how the light's coming against the, the thing that I'm photographing. Uh, if you're shooting into the sun sunset, you've got to, there's things, you've got to know your equipment and know what to do with as far as exposure. But uh, I don't concern myself with that as much as I look at the element and see how the, the light's hitting it. If, if, it, if you like what's happening and the light's not right, you got to come back at a different time of day or a different day, different weather conditions. So today we've got a beautiful blue sky, which adds color, depth, richness to the photograph. I like the circle of the logo, the Texaco logo, and the, and the steps. There's, there's a picture in here. When I see something old, I see a picture opportunity. There's a photograph here. I don't know where it is or what it is, but I'm going to try to dig it out. Tried and true is always shoot straight in on the hood ornament, you know. That's always a good shot. See if we can't get the truck and the train in the same photo. I'm trying to balance this out. I'm shooting this truck, but I don't want this sign here just to, to my left. I'm trying to get that out of the photograph, but I want the tower coming out of the top of the truck. Let's get this little section of track here in the photograph. I always like the train signs, the railroad crossing sign. Uh, it's such an iconic image that I, whenever I can incorporate it into a photograph, I try to. So we've got cars here, we got caboose here, red caboose, and we got the blue sky. Let's see what we can get here. Okay, that pretty much concludes our visit here to the Route 66 Historical Village. We're going to head down 66 and see what other kind of historic icons we can find in photographs. So let's go check it out. I didn't even see the sculpture ups up here to the left, so let's check this out. Did you see that when we drove by? I don't know if you folks can see what's going on here in this in this setup, but the, the horses are spooked by the the horseless carriage, the noise of it. The horses are spooked, and uh, 
are rearing up. Route 66 was the first major highway that went from Chicago to Los Angeles, uh, Santa, Santa Monica. And it wasn't really a super highway, it was just roads linking towns one to another, was the original idea back in 1926, uh, Lindsay said earlier. Here we are in Catoosa, Oklahoma, just outside of Tulsa, and uh, we're going to check out the blue whale. It's been a part of the uh, Route 66 culture in Oklahoma for many years, and I've seen other pictures by it, so we just want to take a little walk through and see what we have here. Um, you can see in the viewfinder, the highlights are burning out up here. I'll correct that in post afterwards. Uh, I'm shooting with a Nikon 810 with a 24 to 70 millimeter lens. Uh, and uh, right now I'm a 500th of a second at f5. ISO 800. I keep it up there. Uh, I shoot shutter priority most of the time and it freezes the action, makes sharper images. Uh, not everybody does it that way, but that's the way I do it, so. Let's check this out. Okay folks, so as the sun slowly sets in the west, I'm gonna have to call it uh, a wrap here on this video today. Got a few still shots. We're gonna get a few more here this afternoon before we quit. But uh, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do. Hit the like, hit the bell if you wanna be notified for the next video comes up. And uh, have any comments, any suggestions, any locations that you've been to, maybe even along Route 66, that might be good for video project. Let me know, hit, write me a comment, uh, link it below. So see you next video.